High wing with the landing light in the left wing, half mile south of this, rock your wings. Good rock for the high wing. Mineral Point, Iowa County Airport. Automated weather observation. One, niner, zero, three. Zulu, weather, wind, calm, visibility, one, zero, 6,000 scattered temperature 2, 2 Celsius, 2.11 2 altimeter 3, 0, 2, 6. Iowa County traffic, Skyline 80, Papa Echo, Mac Taxiing 04. I'll count. We ready? We're ready. Iowa County traffic, Skyline 80, Pump Echo, taking off 04, departing area to the northeast. Iowa. All right, instruments are green. Speed's a lot. Okay. And go ahead and get our, uh, if you want to pull out those papers, oh, they're right there, that's fine. The you're talking about? Now, but that's after you land, but I mean, you got to have them ready to go as soon as you land. Yeah. Got all your lights on. Is that what they say to get them all off? Yeah. All right. I'm all leaving them all. Oh, it says within 50 miles. Well, we're 55, so that's close enough, huh? And now do I need to put your um, all your stuff over? Oh, yeah, go ahead, let's switch it. Far out that we have to be at 1,800 feet. You get to the that first waypoint, right? Okay, let me read. Okay, here it is. Finally, arrive at transition starting point at 90 knots and 1800. Okay, so the transition is this waypoint we're going to. Okay. You'll be doing two seven or nine, which which whichever one they tell us. Okay. They're going to tell us, once we, once we can pick them up, they'll say which runways are in use. Okay. Now the plane is we have a yellow high wing and a red and white one. He, uh, yellow is very slow. I'm still not getting any signal in arrival, but we may be too far out and low still. The other planes look like they're trying to point in there too, I think. Yes. But he's really a factor for us at this point. Oh. I'm up with this rocket wing. Oh, there's somebody rocking our wing. It's starting to come in. We're good, so ahead and start that right turn to 090. This guy, we're going to play right down that. Keep that spike waving kind of off your right. And also stay at 1,800 feet until tower uh, tells you to defend. You can monitor tower to find 126.6 and uh, walk the show. Thank you. Sounds great. Yeah, we've that uh, right over Fisk right now. Go ahead and start that right turn, 8090, join Fisk Avenue. Follow that eastbound. Stay at 1,800 feet and uh, tower will uh, tell you when to defend. Monitor tower to find 126.6. We'll see you. I got a beat tail bonanza up high over Fisk. Uh, are you up for your Yep. All right, very good. Thanks. We're almost missing there. So go ahead and uh, continue up the railroad tracks. The detail bonanza, enter right down on runway 27, and uh, it's going to be inside the gravel pit. You can start your descent at the time as well, 1,800 feet. Check your gear down and monitor tower 118.5. We'll see you. All righty. We were hoping for 36 for camping down there. Uh, can't, unfortunately. Let's try to accommodate, but it won't work. Roger. Swing up high, half mile south of Rocky Wings. Good for the twin continue following the railroad track to the northeast for a uh, right down on the runway 27 inside the gravel pit. 
Inside Tower 1800, Monitor the Tower 118.5, welcome back, Josh. Just a half mile south of this turn right, turn right, uh, heading 090 to follow that east west road for the left base runway 36, turn right now for the Cessna. For the high wing, a half mile south of this, heading 090, good job on the turn, keep it microwave power. All these planes may be people coming over here, landing, getting fuel and stuff. I, I think so, Ron, that's what's yeah. coming. It looks like these guys are kind of going into it, though. Okay, that's the turn right, heading yeah. 090, the high wing, whatever you are, over fifth, turn right, heading 090. Looks like a white one with a dark uh, underside, turn right heading 090, it might be a tail dragger flying over fifth now, good job, keep that right turn going, heading 090, pick up that east-west road, fifth Gaffney, keep the microwave tower up your right side. Attention all aircraft, off shots to the right, runway 36 and 27, Green Lake transition is in effect, Once upon reaching uh, Ripon, fall the railroad track. Green Lake is in effect. So, it's in a tiny runway. Oh, we took it, finally we got it, so that's up here, Green Lake. There are three arrival points. Uh, the furthest one away is the Endeavour Bridge transition, which is typically used when there's a high volume of traffic. The next one is the Puckaway Lake transition. And then the third, the closest, is the Green Lake transition. But because we couldn't pick up which one was in effect, we just out of an abundance of caution decided just to start out at the Endeavor Bridge transition and we would just kind of merge into traffic as we got closer to the Green Lake, which we finally heard as we got closer. They cut in front of us. They just went straight into this in front well, of us. And that's fine I, because I couldn't hear because we were so low at that other airport. I just wanted to... I don't mind going the long way in. I know, I don't either. High wing a half mile south of this, rocked wings. Good route for the high wing. Continue up the railroad tracks for the uh, right downwind entry to runway 27. Stay inside the gravel pit, maintain 1,800. So way point in the corner of that lake. 336 yeah. and 27, Green Lake transition is in effect. Upon reaching Green Lake, pick out an aircraft of similar performance and follow that aircraft along the route towards Fisk, maintaining a minimum half mile in trail. You cannot maintain a half mile of trail, or if you have to S turn in order to maintain the spacing, it's not going to work. Break it off and return to Green Lake to find another aircraft to follow. At this next waypoint, where we got to be at 90 and 1800. Okay. That's where you're joining everything officially. Yeah. Everybody coming in, once you reach Ripon, start following the railroad tracks. Maintain a half mile in trail spacing from the next aircraft, no side by side. Do not follow the GPS waypoints to this. Follow the railroad tracks. We'll pick you out uh, by color and type when you get here and we'll give you a runway assignment. You go for that corner of the lake right there. Yep. Make sure everybody's nose to tail directly over the railroad tracks, not south or north, but directly over the railroad tracks on your way in down to this. The next, the next one's a rip on. A bit more traffic now. I <laughs> half mile south of this. Rock your wings. For the RV, turn right heading 090, follow the east-west road, Fisk Avenue for the left base runway 36. Keep the uh, microwave tower off your right wing. The monitor okay. tower 126.6, welcome to Oshkosh. Oh, there he is, over there, there's somebody turning. Everybody come off the railroad tracks, make sure your nose to tail, no side by side, following the railroad tracks all the way to Fisk. When you guys get here, we'll get a hold of you and give you a runway assignment. Oh, at Ripon, you follow, the tr he's telling everybody to follow the tracks. At Fisk is where you either turn 90 or... Keep following. Over the railroad tracks, make sure you're maintaining nose to tail, half mile in trail spacing. High wing, half mile south of Fisk, rock your wings. Good rock for the high wing, turn right now, hitting 090, follow the east west road at Fisk Avenue for the left base runway 36. Start your right turn now and keep the microwave tower for right hand side. High wing with a light in the left wing, um, follow the railroad tracks. You took somebody else to turn. In high wing that's passing over Fisk right now again for the right down on the runway 27, stay inside the gravel pit, monitor tower 118.5. Okay, there's uh, approaching fix. Fisk, there's a, uh, two high wings, and I guess you guys both have landing lights in the uh, in the left wing, or maybe just one of them. The one with the landing light in the left wing, rock your wings. Hey, Rapon's coming up. Okay, the one that's rocking your wings, make a right turn now for runway 36, right turn heading 090 for the East West Avenue. All right, good job, appreciate your help. Follow the east-west road for the left base runway 36 and monitor the tower 126.6, welcome to Oshkosh. 
Roger. The tail dragger of this path is continue up the railroad tracks for the uh, right downwind entry. Uh, straight ahead, right downwind entry to runway uh, 27. Stay inside the gravel pit monitor tower 126.6 and the uh, correction 118.5. Rocky wings for acknowledgement. Aircraft right around way 36 and 27. Green Lake transition is in effect upon reaching Green Lake. Take out an aircraft to center performance. Follow that aircraft along the route towards this. Maintain a minimum pass. Railroad tracks to the right of those silos, isn't it? Start following yeah. the railroad tracks and don't use. Oh, right. Yeah, right in front of. Side by side to half mile. Right. Once you get close to fifth, the we'll take you out and give you a runway assignment. Next waypoint is Fisk, right? Correct. Duster over there. That's what that one is, Ron. Okay. I see you. Uh, yeah, they scare me when they're that close. Yeah. Aircraft coming up the railroad track, make sure your nose the tail, uh, half mile parallel in spacing, and uh, don't follow the GPS waypoints, follow the railroad track. Green Lake transition is in effect. Okay, they just do a dog leg here, right? Correct. Right on it. You're right on Oh, the railroad tracks are to the left of the road there. See? Yeah. Disappear in those trees. I. Yep. High wing with the landing light in the left wing, half mile south of this, rock your wings. Good rock for the high wing. High wing turn right now, heading 090, follow the east-west road to Fisk Avenue, so start your right turn, 090, good job. Follow that east-west road for the left base runway 36, and keep that microwave tower up for the right side. Monitor the tower now, 126.6, welcome to Oshkosh. Got the microwave tower inside. Where is it? Oh, right there, yeah. Here's the road. Yeah. Six point six, right? Yes. We're on a base for three six, correct? Correct. Inbound front fifth. Fly over that east west road. Keep that microwave antenna on your right side. One thousand eight hundred till you pass the four lane divided highway. We'll carry you out by typing color once you're south of the airport. You're at the highway now, Ron. See the green dot. Dot are you? Didn't say. He, he lock out ten bound front fifth. Fly with that east west road, keep that microwave antenna off your right side. One thousand eight hundred till you pass through the four lane divided highway. We'll call you up by tapping color once you're south of the airport.
base runway 36 left on the purple dot. Clear to land. Clear to land. 500. The first one, isn't it? It's purple's first. So you can make the first left turn on any hard surface you can make. Welcome to Oshkosh. We've got our in our north. Get our in out there. Runway 36 left, purple dot, clear to land. Hit it, babe. Uh huh. Not bad. Not bad. I, I hit it early, but I mean, purple dot is like. The first dot. First dot. <laughs> I like knowing anyone's going to be behind you. Well, Janice and I got a pretty good tour of the Oshkosh grounds as they didn't have their full crew with them and we would get redirected to go down a different uh, route. And when we got there, there was nobody to redirect us, so we had to get turned around a couple of times. And But we made it. A few of the other pilots I talked to said, yeah, on Thursday, sometimes they don't have the full crew and it's just a miscommunication. But anyway, it was kind of fun. We got to uh, taxi all over Oshkosh. the stuff we got in this airplane. Amazing what we can get loaded into this. I think I'm sweating just a bit. It is really not hot here, but I'm sweating just a bit. But I think we've got a place to sleep anyway, so working on getting it straightened out just a little bit more.